Okay, it's time for another vintage unboxing. I can't wait to see what we got in this one. This one's from the auction house and whew, it's a little bit heavy. I was thinking this was a tablecloth, but then I saw some other stuff and so now I'm wondering. <gasps> you guys, this is a wedding dress. Oh my gosh, look at that gorgeous back. So much lacy goodness. I mean, I don't really do vintage fashion. Well, under that unique find, we have this unique find. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I mean, that's what it says. There's another dress-like thing in here. It says wedding dress, 1938. There you go. This must have been for a person much taller than me. Um, I've been showing you the back. That makes more sense. Ooh. Anybody need a wedding dress from 1938? It needs a lot of repairs, but you know, it could be a project. This one's a little bit more modern, but if you want to celebrate your wedding, Victorian goodness. That's what I look like when I look in the mirror, right? Swoop and line. Okay, it's got a little maker's mark that I'm totally not familiar with, so I'm gonna have to check this one out. This one's for all you vintage toy lovers to build right toy house. No cutting or pasting. Look at that goodness right there. Union Station, that's so fun. That is cool. This looks like Christmas cards, let's see. It's more toy houses. You can make like a little cardboard city in my kitchen. Mint, anyone? Actually, I don't like mints. Let's put caramels in there instead. We got a lot of breakables on the bottom. That makes sense, right? I'll show you the ones that made it, because some of them didn't, but look at this little pattern. Ooh, that is some like, you know, Victorian shabby goodness for you. We have these three guys. Ooh, we got this beautiful little vase from Ireland. If you didn't see our haul yesterday, go back and look because Whoa! when we finish, we're gonna do our thought for today. This one's from Marcus Aurelius. Oh my gosh. If I had only known this when I was younger. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Therefore, guard accordingly. I mean, no matter what age you are, that is so necessary. Over my lifetime, some people have called me sweet and good and nice and helpful, and other people have called me unapproachable and too intense and too serious. And I can be some of those things sometimes. My downfall was I let those voices define me and I tried so hard to stop being what everybody didn't want me to be instead of just trying to be my best self. Now I know better. And I have a thought or a word from somebody else that I get to choose. Does it come into my heart and into my life and define me? Or do I just let that thought pass on by and keep my gates closed? So now I'm just trying to be my best self, be who I am, bring the best part of me to the world. Not only does that work for what other people say about you, but your own thoughts about what you think about yourself. So yeah, try it sometime. Just let them pass by because they're not all true. Okay, sorry about that little soapbox there, but you know, that's important. Thanks for hanging out with us and come back tomorrow because we're going to do some more vintage unboxing. Anybody need a wedding dress?